Hi friends, it's Liz here. I have issue number two of Daphne's Diary for 2022 to show you. I received this magazine a little late in the mail, but you know, that's kind of what's going on right now. Some things are arriving on time, some things are a little late. So I'm going to take you through a flip through of the magazine, give you some tips and ideas on how I use this magazine. And uh, after the flip through, I'm also going to show you some ideas uh, of what my favorite items are to use this journal for or to make things with. So as you can see, there's just so much to this magazine. If you are new to my channel, I do a lot of magazine flip throughs for Daphne's Diary and I have a playlist that you can check out for previous um, flip throughs as well as different ways that I have used the magazine. So. I love going through it just to get some inspiration, of course, with the colors and the design, um, but also I enjoy looking at the borders of the pages because um, I like to cut those out when, you know, I'm finished with the magazine and use those in my work. This was the um, uh, Easter issue. And so because I received it a little late, I probably will be saving some of those bunnies for a future Easter project. Um, but you know, like the stickers and things like this, I could probably use them right now in my journals and my glue book, etc. Uh, again, I kind of go through it and scope out ideas of what I would do. Like I would fussy cut out these flowers right here and save them for ephemera and different projects. Loving all the different, um, you know, colors and things like that. Some of you have said that the recipes that are included in these uh, magazines, you actually use them in your journals as like, you know, recipes that you include when you make a junk journal. So I think that's a fabulous idea. Um, they have lots of different inspiration and, um, you know, projects that you can make. So that's also something fun that you're able to go through. And I always also look at it for layout ideas as well. If, you know, I'm thinking of doing something on a page, I sometimes like the way that they've sort of designed the page and get inspired by it. I would totally cut up that flower right there. And there's so many beautiful florals on this page as well that I would use. So as you can see, it's just such a lovely magazine. I, um, I don't know if I mentioned, I have a playlist if you wanted to check out more of the flip throughs of the magazine themselves as well. So here we've got a lot of text, which I also like to look through at some point when I'm finished reading the magazine. And I like to pull out text to, you know, also save for my crafting. That border on that page was just beautiful with all the different colors and designs. And then you've got all these, you know, super bright and lovely prints. Like look at this page full of florals. Oh my goodness, I love it all. I would totally fussy cut that out. Um, I like this recipe myself, so I'll probably save those for later. Now, this time it includes these cute little uh, doorknob hangers. I think they're perfect. I'll probably put one in front of my craft space. So when I am doing, you know, a voiceover or a video that um, my family knows what I'm doing at the time. Look at this um, border as well. So lots of inspiration, lots of ideas, and I truly, truly love looking through it. Look at this one right here. I could frame this entire page and that would make a nice, you know, print to frame for your space. Um, this here as well, it's got some really interesting information and stuff to read. These are postcards. So it comes with um, this second part that you could um, stick together and then it's got like a little peekaboo kind of window on them look at that border oh my goodness so i'm really really um, inspired by what i've seen so far and i'm getting ideas already of what i would do of what i would do with this one um, here this includes a little activity to punch out these hearts and make those um kind of like heart-shaped florals and look at this paper that's included as well so lovely really really great now this large piece here is a big poster if you don't use it as a poster you could certainly cut it up and you know use it as a camera as well so i hope you enjoyed the flip through i'm going to also show you something else that was sent with this um with this magazine and i got this little um sort of like a um a phone book and it is super cute because it's got all the little areas of, um, you know, with detail that you can add about your friends. And I think that's such a cute thing to, uh, you know, to have 
um, you know, to add sort of details of, um, you know, maybe who I'm sending happy mail to or, and um, that will kind of keep me a little bit more organized. All right, so here's some ideas on how I use the magazine. When I cut it up, I save the, some of the designs that I think I want to use later and I keep it in a little pile of, you know, ephemera that I'll be using later. So primarily it's almost like just different types of um, die cuts almost like I use them for and stuff that um, I add to my journals. This little glue book, I do have a video showing you how we make it from start to finish. It's all recycled products, which I think you will love. And here you can see how I've done a little bit of uh, a spread on this page using some of the cutouts because I totally love to do that, especially colors and things that have inspired me from the magazine. Okay, so I'll link that video below if you wanted to see how we put this together, but it's super easy and fun. In that video, I also give you different ideas on different ways to make loop books as well. Another thing I love to use the magazine for is to make my own envelopes. So you can see there's a pattern on the inside and on the outside. And I super love this when I'm sending it in happy mail to my friends. I load it up with goodies and I decorate the front, but then it's got such a beautiful decoration on the front and back. And as you can see, these are the pages that I probably wouldn't use for something else, but I love the design and the little bits and pieces. So putting it all together like this, it just looks beautiful. And it's got already a, a lovely design because of what's on the pages already. So that's one of my other favorite ways to use this magazine. The next way is to make different types of pockets. And I love projects that you can use one page and make something fun out of it. So this is one of those projects. I have an entire playlist of one page projects that I will link below if you get inspired to make any of them. But this one's got such multi pockets and it's all made out of one sheet of paper. It's just the way that you fold it all up and you get all these different little pockets. I'm sure you've seen some of those videos. I have lots of them, like I said, and I will link those below. But this is another one um, that I love to do because it's got like both sides are printed. The paper quality is really nice and it just it's got so much detail. Um, you know, you kind of embellish it a little bit on the front when you're sending it and it just looks beautiful when your friend receives it. The last one I'm going to show you is a zine. I've shown you how to make these before. You take one page, the way you fold it and cut it and glue it together, it can come up with all these little pockets. So it's like a mini little book or a mini magazine. That's where the word zine comes from. And this one, I've added lots of pockets. I haven't decorated or added anything to the pages yet. Um, I've sort of just left it ready to decorate, but I'll show you what an eight and a half by 11 one looks like, which is the similar size. This one I had, previously shown you a video on how to make them, how I decorated it. I will link that video below. So this is like a photocopy of the one I had made. And that's the purpose of one of these zines is to be able to also make uh, many copies of them depending on how you put yours together. So my friends, I had so much fun going through this flip through and giving you some ideas on how I use the magazine. I will link all my playlists below in case I forget something. I will also link it in the description box below and on my blog. So I do have many um, videos showing you as well the different journal styles that I have made and the different pieces that I have used. And also here I'm just showing you different ways that I would cut up the magazine. This one would be a cover. I would make the front of it and the back of it into a cover and then just use up all the goodies that are inside for my, you know, my projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below and let me know if you use this magazine or if you've seen it before and enjoy it. Um, I hope you check out the playlist. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have more videos. And I will be um, maybe making more of these Daphne's Diary um, videos. If you're interested, let me know what else you would like to see some other suggestions with this magazine. Here, I'm just showing you that I would probably cut up this entire poster and use it up in one of my journals. All right, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.